guys if you find this video helpful please like subscribe and press the bell icon for notifications today in complex numbers we will be exploring exponential form of complex numbers so as we already know that the polar form of complex number is z is equals to r cos theta plus i sin theta and this is the polar form so cos theta plus i sin theta can be written as e to the power i theta because of the Euler's formula and that formula is e to the power i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta so we just need to substitute e to the power i theta for cos theta plus i sin theta in polar form of complex number and we will get z is equals to r e to the power i theta and this is our exponential form of complex number where r is the distance between polar coordinates r theta and the pole that is origin 0 0 and theta also known as argument of z is denoted by a r g z so like in polar form we get infinite number of possible exponential form of a given complex number and each theta is differed by a multiple of 2 pi like theta 2 will be 2 pi more than theta 1 so theta 2 will be theta 1 plus 2 pi similarly theta 3 will be 2 pi more than theta 2 so it will be theta 1 plus 4 pi and so on and these thetas will give us the same complex number so therefore exponential form can be written as z is equals to r e to the power i theta plus 2 pi n because each time theta is increasing by a multiple of 2 pi for n is equals to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and so on now if theta is equals to 2 pi by 3 then r e to the power i 2 pi by 3 will be equal to r e to the power i 2 pi by 3 plus 2 pi will be equals to r e to the power i 2 pi by 3 plus 4 pi and then if we keep on adding 2 pi each time then we will get the same values if this is z1 this is z2 z3 z4 and zn then theta 1 is 2 pi by 3 theta 2 is 2 pi by 3 plus 2 pi theta 3 is 2 pi by 3 plus 4 pi theta 4 is 2 pi by 3 plus 6 pi and theta n is 2 pi by 3 plus 2 pi n so here all these thetas will give us the same result so all the complex numbers z1 z2 z3 and zn they all will make the same angle with the positive real axis so we can say that z1 z2 z3 zn they will all represent the same complex number now let's find the value of r with the help of exponential form of complex number so we know that r is equal to mode of z and mode of z is root of a square plus b square so exponential form is z is equals to r e to the power i theta so take mode both the sides then we will get mode of z is equals to mode of r e i theta then mode of r and mode of e i theta and r can be written as r plus 
zero i and by Euler's formula we can write e to the power i theta as cos theta plus i sin theta so we will get mode of cos theta plus i sin theta now let's take the modulus of r plus 0 i so it will be root of r square plus 0 square and similarly root of cos square theta plus sin square theta and we know that value for cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 so it will be r times 1 that is r so we can write mod of z is equals to r or r is equals to mod of z now let's find out the multiplicative inverse of complex number that is z inverse in exponential form so exponential form of a complex number is z is equals to r e to the power i theta so to find the z inverse let's take inverse both the sides so we will get z inverse is equal r e to the power i theta inverse it will be r inverse e to the power i minus theta therefore z inverse is equal to 1 by r because r inverse can be written as 1 by r times e to the power i minus theta so this is the multiplicative inverse of a complex number in exponential form now by Euler's formula we can write e to the power i minus theta as cos minus theta plus i sine minus theta so substitute this in our inverse formula so we will get z inverse is equals to 1 by r cos minus theta plus i sine minus theta and this is the polar representation of z inverse now let's do multiplications with complex numbers in exponential form so let z1 is equals to r1 e to the power i theta 1 and z2 is equals to r2 e to the power i theta 2 then z1 times z2 is r1 e to the power i theta 1 times r2 e to the power i theta 2 then r1 r2 e to the power i theta 1 times e to the power i theta 2 then r1 r2 e to the power i theta 1 plus i theta 2 now take i common so we will get r1 r2 e to the power i theta 1 plus theta 2 so z1 z2 is equals to r1 r2 e to the power i theta 1 plus theta 2 now let's do division so again take z1 is equals to r1 e to the power i theta 1 and z2 is equals to r2 e to the power i theta 2 then z1 over z2 will be r1 e to the power i theta 1 by r2 e to the power i theta 2 then it will be r1 over r2 then e to the power i theta 1 minus i theta 2 again take i common so it will be i times theta 1 minus theta 2 therefore z1 over z2 is equals to r1 over r2 e to the power i theta 1 minus theta 2 now if z1 is equals to r1 e to the power i theta 1 and z2 is equals to r2 e to the power i theta 2 and if we say that z1 is equal to z2 or r1 e to the power i theta 1 is equal to r2 e to the power i theta 2 so this is possible if and only if r1 is equals to r2 and similarly theta 1 is equals to theta 2 so it will be possible if 
and only if r1 is equals to r2 and theta1 is equals to theta2 and theta2 will be equal to theta1 if and only if theta2 is equal to theta1 plus 2 pi n for n is equals to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and so on and theta 1 theta 1 plus 2 pi theta 1 plus 4 pi and theta 1 plus 2 pi n they all will give us the same result hence same complex numbers in powers and roots we will be covering powers of complex numbers in our next video thanks for watching